In today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your Samsung device into a full computing machine. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. This is the Samsung DeX Pad with HDMI cable. Over here on the side of the box, it does say this is a 4K HDMI cable. The DeX Pad does have two full-size USB ports, and you can use your phone as a touchpad, and then it also comes with a charger cable. Now, this is Samsung's next version of their product to access Samsung DeX. So right here in the box, we do have the Samsung DeX device. Now this is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be, but right here on the front, this is a air vent to cool off your phone. And then here you have the USB-C port to plug your phone in. Over here on the back or the front, we actually have two USB ports there's the HDMI, and then there is the USB-C port. Now, previously, the DeX station did have a Ethernet cable where this does not have access to that. And here in the box, there is your USB-C charging cable, and here is your 4K HDMI cable. Let's get this set up, show you how it works. The Samsung DeX operating system is built into the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, Note 8, S9, and S9 Plus. So any of those devices will work with the DeX pad. Now that I have my power cable plugged in, the HDMI cable, I am going to plug in a USB wireless keyboard. Depending on what case you have, you will most likely need to remove that case for this to work. Once you plug it in, the phone will begin mirroring over onto the TV. It does pop up a notification on the phone asking if you want to use Samsung DeX, or if you just want to switch to screen mirroring mode where it will show everything you're seeing on your phone right on the TV. And today we're going to select Start Samsung DeX. I'm also going to plug in my USB mouse to make this easier setup. So here with the Samsung DeX, you can multitask much easier switching between applications. Here we just need to agree to the terms and conditions. Select start there. And then right now it is asking us to adjust our TV so that this fits properly. Okay, now I have my screen set properly. I can see all of the corners. Here I'm going to select don't show again for the next time I put it in. Now that we have the DeX pad set up on my Samsung Galaxy S9, let's check out a few of the new features that you can do with this. I have previously done a few Samsung DeX videos with the DeX station and with the Note 8. And if you'd like to see those, make sure you click the pop-up above where I cover some in-depth things that you can do specifically with the Samsung DeX experience. But today we're gonna to cover what's new and then go over a few questions from the Tech with Brett community. So first off, let's head into the settings of Samsung DeX. And the best way to do that is to go into the apps right here. And then you can just go into the menu and then here you have Samsung DeX settings. So the first thing that we'll notice, we have the screen timeout here, we have wallpapers, but this is the new setting. So we have screen resolution for Samsung DeX. So here in the display settings, we do have auto select. Uh, we do have the second option here, which is the new one, which is 2560 by 1440 resolution. Then we have 1920 by 1080 and 1600 by 900. Now, I could not get the second option here to work. Even if I plug directly into the 4K TV that I'm using here, right now I'm plugged into a screen capture device, which may be preventing it, but I plug directly into the TV and I could not get this to work. It does say that it is dependent on the game of the resolution. So maybe there's something that I wasn't doing or maybe I have older software where I'm not able to do that. So as of all the settings I checked, that was the main thing that is new. Everything else was the same that it's been before. Um, you do have a few other things down here that are important, set audio output. Um, so you can have it go directly from the phone to the DeX, or right now I'm plugged in via uh, auxiliary cable, so I'm going to use that. So other than that, a big question that I've had on the Samsung DeX is adding apps to the home screen right here. So if you go into the all apps, all you need to do is hold down on one of these apps and drag and drop it wherever you would like. Now, a few different things, you can still add folders. So if you drag that on top of another app, you can actually create folders, but you cannot add widgets. So there's no widget option 
for this home screen. I've heard there may be third-party apps that you can use, but out of the box, you cannot do widgets there. So next I want to show you down here in the notification bar, here you have the Samsung DeX icon. You click that and you can switch to a screen mirroring option. So if you don't want to see the full Samsung DeX, you can select this and it will jump into just screen mirroring your phone. So now whatever you see on the phone, that will change on the screen. So if I'm using my phone and I navigate through it, it will show up all on the TV. If you want to go back to the full experience, just pull down the notification shade and right here select use screen mirroring. And then right here, pull down the use screen mirroring setting and select Samsung DeX. And that will take you into the full Samsung DeX experience. Now, if you cannot find Samsung DeX on your phone, maybe you have an old software or whatever country you're in, for some reason it does not support the Samsung DeX experience. So then down here you have all your other settings, you have all your notifications. Here you could respond to text messages and everything. You have Bluetooth settings, your Wi-Fi network and battery life. And then here you have your quick panel icons so you can actually adjust all those right there. Here you have Dex Labs so you can adjust the Samsung Dex Labs and this will help open apps in full screen if possible. There are other third party apps where that you can check out to do that as well. Here you have your volume control so you can change media volume or whatever all right there. And then here you have the screenshot icon. One of the features that has been promoted with the DexPad is that you can actually use your phone as the touchpad. So I removed my USB connectors for my mouse and keyboard and then it popped up the option for the touch screen. So here, now I can use the mouse and it's actually very responsive. Uh, let's see what else. If I want to select something, all I need to do is tap the screen. If I double tap, that would open up the application. So you can see that it is in a portrait mode and it has this little grid on here. If you use two fingers to tap, that will pull up the menu. Now, if you go into the pointer speed settings, that will adjust how fast this goes around. So I think I do like that a little faster. So I definitely would prefer to use a mouse, but if this is all you have, it does the job. All right, so I pulled open Google Maps to see how it is navigating through this. The app actually looks really good on the TV. So if I just click and drag around, that will move my map around. If I zoom in here, I can actually pinch and that will zoom in and out. So you can see I pinch out. So if I pinch in, it zooms out pinch out and it zooms in. Now let's go down here to the 3D level. And now if I use two fingers on the screen, I can actually drag around the map, which makes it really easy to navigate through if I'm looking for something specific. And then if we click on the search bar up here at the top, it will actually pull up a on-screen keyboard. So I could then go through and type through, even though my keyboard is not selected, I could go and quickly select what I want to search for, and it's not popping up the keyboard on screen. That would be kind of a cool little thing if it popped up the keyboard on my phone, but it is not doing that. So there you could go through, search for whatever you want. Um, let's see, does it have the option to voice search? Let's see if I can do that. So right here I could voice search Mandalay Bay. So that's one option is you can pull open the voice to text and text back that way. And there you go. That is how you use the touchpad on the Dex pad. If you're in a web browser and you want to scroll, just place two fingers and you can scroll up and down really easy. And it actually works pretty smooth. Check out techwithbrett.com for tech solutions for you. So those are the main new things that I wanted to cover with the Dex pad. Now, I do wanna answer some of your questions. And if you haven't already, make sure you head to my channel and go to the community tab. Yesterday, I asked the Tech with Brett community what they would like to see about the Dex pad and I got a great response. So thanks everyone who submitted a question. If you would like to be a part of this community, make sure you head to my channel page and select the community option right here so that you can actually see my posts. I'll update new videos, I'll ask questions, take polls, all kinds of stuff right there. It doesn't work right here on the Samsung Dex, but if you go on your phone or computer, it will work. So let's go through a few of those questions. So the first question is, is this compatible with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8? Let's try that right now. I'm gonna pull this out, place in my Galaxy Note 8. 
And there it says Samsung Deck. So I have access to my same keyboard and everything. And yes, it works on the Note 8 and it will also work on the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Whether you have the S8, the S8 Plus, Note 8, S9 or S9 Plus, it will all vary your experience just because of the speeds of the phone. But I've experienced great things from all of those devices. Now going back into the Note 8 Samsung DeX, it does remember exactly how I had my desktop set up before, which is pretty cool. Uh, setting I did wanna check real quick is if you have the new resolution settings in here. So I just click the menu here, Samsung DeX, and there you have screen resolution for Samsung DeX. So you do have that option now on the Galaxy Note 8 with the DeX pad. Next question was, is the DeX pad better than the original DeX? Now, it depends on if you want to have the Ethernet cable. So that's the best part about the original Samsung DeX. Uh, but the DeX pad, so far, it's been a great device, has the fan, has that flat model. So it depends on really what you're looking for. But it all depends on the phone. The experience will be the same because the phone is what has that Samsung DeX experience installed so it's going to interact the same on both the dex pad or the dex station next question is how much does it cost and does it work well so it costs 99 dollars and it does work well remember this is your phone that it is using it is not some full computer uh, it doesn't have incredible processors that your computer has but for doing some simple computing this will definitely work Okay, the next two questions is, does it replace a Chromebook and is it computer fast or slow like a cheap laptop? To answer this question, I'm gonna have to say it's more like a Chromebook where you have simple things that you can do. You have apps that you can access, but it doesn't have full computer programs like your video editing program or anything. It's just everything that you can do on your phone on a bigger screen with a keyboard and mouse easily accessible. Kind of like a Chromebook, you have access to a full web browser. This will do that as the phone would do, um, but you're gonna have a little less experience that you would have than a fast computer. So if you need some more computing power, stick with the computer. If you're looking for something that's easy to access, maybe you have an old TV monitor laying around with HDMI in, this would be a great solution to get your phone onto the big screen. Next question is, does the keyboard appear on the phone when clicking on the text input field? And no, I just answered that. It will only appear on the screen, or if you have a keyboard, you can easily do that. The next question is, does it work any better when using a case compared to the deck station? Now, it doesn't work really good. It does work with some of the Samsung specific cases. Here I have the Samsung Clearview cover and it worked no problem. But when I tried the other case that I was recently using uh, by Patchworks, this one did not fit in. Just because it has too much of a lip right there, it was not able to complete the connection. So if you have anything that's big and bulky like that, it won't work. But here it was able to slide in because it has that bottom end open and it was able to go on just like that. So if you have nothing covering the bottom of the phone, you should have no problem with the case. And with the flip view, I was able to keep it closed and still have access to Samsung Dex. So there, it opened it right up. The next question's a little harder is how does it work connected with a Windows computer through VPN? So in my previous video of a Samsung Dex video, I showed how you can remotely control your computer. It was pretty difficult. Now, I'm not actually sure how you would control your computer through a VPN that seems a little more complicated. Um, if you want to do it, there should be a way, but it's not gonna be as good as a laptop experience through the DeX pad. So the next question is, will this work for general use? So some of the things that you may do, you may open up a web browser, open up a calculator, let's open up some social media pages here. Here we can open up our texting app so we could quickly text back and forth there. We can actually resize the window there. Let's open up Twitter. What did you guys hear, huh? So we can quickly browse through Twitter. If we open up a link, it should open up right into an, our YouTube application. So really nice to quickly multitask just like it would on your phone, but it doesn't take away the rest of the space. So you can do quite a bit on the screen all at once, which is really nice to have. So with the decks, you can really do a tons all at once. You can see all these applications open. It's really nice. You can double tap the top bar right there 
and that will open up into a full screen mode and then double click again to shrink it down. Next question is, would it be possible to set up as a mobile workstation in a vehicle? Now, unless you have a monitor that has an input with a keyboard and mouse, that would be the best experience to plug in the decks, but it's gonna be a little iffy. So most likely this is something you have just sitting at your home or in your office or at your work. You slide your phone into it and you're ready to go. On the go computing may not be as easy. Is it worth the money for people who have a gaming PC? Now, if you have a gaming PC, I would probably stick with that. You know, I have a laptop where I'm editing and doing all my main computing things. That's what I'm most likely going to be using. But if you are using your phone, let's say I'm working on a PowerPoint document and I want to continue using it, I can just pop in my S9, can quickly finish up the PowerPoint without having to save it, put it on my computer. Um, all really easy to do right on one device. Now this will only work with HDMI out and input to a TV. So if you have a computer, you cannot input it into the computer unless you have a capture device like I'm using today, which is the Elgato 60 that I'm using. And that is a brief introduction to the DeX pad. The DeX pad is definitely worth checking out if you are using your mobile phone throughout the day as your main computing device and you don't need a full desktop experience. If you guys have any further questions about the DEX pad, please let me know in the comments below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so that you'll be notified as soon as I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.